हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आईटीएलएस एकेडमी आवर टुडेज लेक्चर इज के ओ एच एसमियर और कोच एसमियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन के ओ एच एसमियर और को एसमियर The point is a skin lesion ki which exam is a simple skin test to check if an infection in the skin is caused by fungus K O H stands for potassium that is K oxygen for O and hydrogen for H and it becomes K O H These elements make up potassium hydroxide This is K O H that is potassium hydroxide A skin lesion K O H exam is a simple skin test to check if an infection in the skin is caused by fungus besides the exam koh is used in fertilizers soft soaps alkaline batteries and other products next comes how it is done how we perform ki oh smear so a doctor or nurse takes a sample by lightly scraping the infected area sometimes the doctor will use a swab The sample is then placed on a slide with potassium hydroxide solution and is gently heated. The solution slowly dissolves the skin cells but not the fungus. symptoms of a fungal infections that may be detected through a koh exams are brittle deformed or thickened nails itchy red scaly patches of skin or scalp thrush or white patches in the mouth and yeast infection or vaginal discharge and itching these are some symptoms of fungal infections that may be detected through a koh smear okay now we see the aim of the test why we perform koh smear so the first point treatment of potassium hydroxide allows rapid observation of fungal elements because it digest protein debris and clears keratinized tissue so fungi present in specimen can be seen more readily because of several variable factors a potassium hydroxide preparation may not reveal fungi even when they are present the collection of specimen by the physician 
the selection of the portion of the specimen to be examined by the laboratory and the size and number of the organisms are extremely important the test is useful as a rapid screening of specimen for fungal elements or hyphae and spores types of specimens first is superficial mycosis and the specimen include skin scrapings collected with either a scalpel or the edge of a glass slide and this is collected from the outer area of the lesion these skin collectings sent to the laboratory in folded black paper or any sterile container such as a sputum pot next specimen is hair and specimens scraped from the scalp with a scalpel or hair plugged with forceps here infected hairs are easily removed with their stubs next comes a specimen is nail any damaged discolored or brittle parts of the nail are sampled by clipping of the full thickness where a nail is grossly thickened scrapings can be taken from underneath the nail to add to the clippings next specimen is mucous membrane and the scrapings from the mouth or vagina are better than swabs if the material is to be processed immediately however swabs are commonly used and as yeast quickly loses viability on drying a transport swab is preferred subcutaneous mycosis uh, in the first slide we have seen the uh, superficial mycosis and now we are going to see subcutaneous mycosis so the first point is scraping or crust it can be used for microscopy and culture but bacterial contaminations may be a problem cleaning of the site with 70% alcohol prior to the taking the sample may help next one is pus and it should be aspirated and sent with any associated granules to the laboratory in a sterile container rather than a swab next one is biopsy specimens and these are transported to the laboratory in a sterile container so here our experiment starts first is pre specimen processing uh, first is specimen collection 
for the collection of specimen c types of specimen that we have already covered uh, superficial and subcutaneous mycosis uh, i can uh, uh, i can show you once again these are the processes of specimen collection along with the types of specimen in both superficial and subcutaneous mycosis next comes who will collect the specimen so the collection will depend on the type of specimen quantity of a specimen uh, uh, again c types of a specimen for the quantity let's see these are uh, these are the specimens along with their uh, types and along with their collection and along with their quantity you can see uh, these all details are given in superficial mycosis and also in subcutaneous mycosis so quantity and specimen collection is covered already in specimen pro, uh, in in types of specimen next comes time relapse before processing the sample and the time relapse is as soon as possible to prevent overgrowth of contaminating bacteria or a fungi for the storage it will uh, it will be at room temperature next comes specimen processing equipments will be a scalpel scissors nichrome wires in holders both straight and bent mycology type and next equipment is a microscopic slides and cover slips reagents required for specimen processing are first one 20% potassium hydroxide solution that is koh solution and 2 g potassium hydroxide in 10 ml of deionized water next reagent is 70% alcohol 70 ml of industrial methylated spirit plus 30 ml of deionized water here comes method of specimen processing the first point is place a drop of potassium hydroxide in the center of a clean microscopic slide second point is place a fragment of tissue purulent materials or scraping in potassium hydroxide drop next point is tease the materials well enough with corners of a cover slip to give a thin preparation or break up the materials with a sterile loop next one is mount with cover slip next point allow preparation to digest for approximately 10 minutes or longer depending on the tested materials now next point is gently warm the slide and do not overheat remember this is gentle warming 
Next point, gently press on the slide to help disperse tissue materials. Next, screen under low power objective. And after screening, use high or 40 times power magnification to verify the presence of fungal elements. Post specimen processing. Interfering factors and result reporting. A report any fungal element that is description of the hyphae is important. For example, a hyphae is septated or non-septated. For the turn around time, the results is expected two hours after a specimen reception. Additional information is consult medical mycology textbook. For the better results, you can consult with medical mycology textbooks. You can see uh, how the KOH smear or potassium hydroxide smear will look like. This is potassium hydroxide smear. This, uh, this looks like something like these beads. You can detect microorganisms. This is picture of potassium hydroxide smear. So thank you very much guys for watching this session. Follow ITLS Academy on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, WhatsApp and on LinkedIn. For latest videos and updates, subscribe ITLS Academy on YouTube. And you can also get the app of ITLS Academy on Google Play Store so that you can easily access all the informations, all the updates uh, directly from the app. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, then uh, like, sh uh, like and share the video. And also subscribe our channel ITLS Academy. For any help or query or any dilemma, you can call us on our helpline number 7080833450. You can also reach us on www.itlsacademy.com that is our website and from the website you can easily access all the courses, all the informations. So thank you very much again for watching.